Okay, what's up? So I uh, just landed at uh, the airport in New York. I feel crazy excited. Crazy thing, I ran into my homeboy as soon as I came out the airport. He was already in the rental outside. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. But uh, shout out Cliff and uh, a sauce madron. Um, anyways, yo, I came outside. I'm trying to Uber to the airport. They like $82 to get to the hotel. I'm like, that's dead as fuck. So I'm over, I'm sorry, that's dead as hell. So now we are, I'm in a, a taxi, catching a taxi to the uh, hotel, see if they can hold my luggage, and we getting straight to it. Okay, what well, up? Uh, so we made it to New York. I got to the hotel, but it's uh, a little bit early for check-in. So what I'm about to do now is walk down to the Rockefeller Center. Uh, and get some cool footage of that. Probably grab a cup of coffee and chill out, check out the scenery. And then I want to go check out Grand um, Central Terminal as well. But let me give you guys a little quick view of the city where I'm at so you can see. Yeah, so I ain't gonna lie. So I woke up, like, I woke up this morning super excited about coming out here to shoot. And, like, you know, the city just so big and so lively. It's always. Everyone's always moving around, it's like fast paced. So like, I'm just uh, happy to be out here. Can't wait to check in and like relax, put my shit inside of the hotel room. But um, yeah, so just stay tuned for a few more and uh, I'll be showing you guys the Rockefeller Center in a bit. Hey, don't tell the pain to go away. But what we got isn't real, yeah, it's fake. Cause you keep getting hurt on your own without me, babe. The time it wasn't. All right, so right now we're standing in front of the statue of Prometheus. It was sculpted by a guy named Paul Manchu. Uh, and it's one of the most famous sculpted sculptures inside of the Rockefeller Center and the most photographed sculpture in all of New York City. So definitely when you come out here, you want to check this out. A couple of lot of cool shopping centers around. Uh, I, um, a lot of places to get... Alright, so apparently I've stepped into it's kind of like an underground like mall and they have like a, a couple of like different boutiques and shopping stores, uh, cafes. Um, I saw like a ice, like a, a chocolate chip cookie place. So they make a bunch of different types of cookies. Uh, I'm seeing a crab restaurant. I'm literally just, I'm exploring. I'm as lost as you guys are. Right now. So I found somewhere I can sit down and chill for a second. Because honestly, like walking through Rockefeller Center Plaza, you're like, like especially like when you're trying to record, you're like get ran over quick. Because like there's so many people here, and I can understand why. Um, it's uh, a couple of restaurants here to, to try, like uh, and. and the variety just goes on. Like you got everything from like bagels to like Spanish food to like Greek food, Italian food. You got uh, lobster options or like some kind of crab spot. It's like it's called Lux. And then like I don't know, man, uh, cooking plates, cafes, like anything that you can pretty much think of that you want during throughout the day, you can find inside of this place. So like this is definitely like a all. Uh, you can make a day out of this easily. Like just like soaking out in the sun, going to go get a drink, reading a book, or just seeing what type of events and activities that they have going on throughout the day. But Rockefeller Center is definitely a cool spot to come and check out. And um, there's a lot to see here. So let's keep it moving. We got a lot more to go. I'm like crazy excited because I've been seeing this place in like movies you know, forever and I've never had the opportunity to go inside of it. Or actually I had one opportunity but I didn't go that time so we're not going to talk about that. But anyways today is that opportunity. So I'm going inside of the Grand Central Terminal. Um, I want to check out a little bit of the history about the place. I hear that there's like a spot like when you go downstairs like and then there's a spot right above you like where you whisper something or whatever. It's like the person above you on the next floor can actually hear it. So I want to check that spot out, but it just looks crazy cool. So I can't wait to show you guys some of the footage and let's get into that. Yo, so this is literally just how the shit is in the movie. Look at this. So 
So we got like the information stand in the middle. I'm seeing chandeliers everywhere. Oh look, they have departures and everything on here. This is crazy. This looks like Harry Potter shit. I feel like um, I feel like that part of Harry Potter, like when they're like about to go to Hogwarts and they run through the wall and everything. Like that's what it's given. But yo, this is crazy. I don't know. I feel like a geek. Like camera don't do the shit justice. Man. But my heart's beating fast. I feel like a kid, and I'm literally living my dreams while I'm actually vlogging with you guys. But this kind of stuff is what I always dreamed that I wanted to do. So the message for today is. Like, just make sure you're going out there and living your damn life the way that you want to. And if that's career-wise, that's with your friends and your relationships, whatever, because... That's all. That wouldn't be as real then, right? It has to be like raw, authentic. Yeah. For sure. Oh, okay. Not the spruce up. <laughs> all right, you got the little lemon garnish on the top. Yeah. Thank you so much. Perfect. Appreciate Thank it. You. Enjoy. All right. All right, so just like I thought, I'm dead wrong with where this uh, whispering guy is supposed to be. So now I just got instructions from this nice lady. She told me I gotta go all the way back to the other end of where I was at, take the escalator up, go buy some kind of Shake Shack, and then I'll be where the whispering gallery is in the corner. So let's make our way there. According to the girl's instructions, once we get by Shake Shack, we're right by uh, the Whispering Gallery. So that's where we're going inside of now. Or I think this is where we're supposed to be going inside of now. And it's supposed to be in the corners that you can hear the whispers. So, okay, yeah, I see people whispering into the wall, so it's the only place it can possibly be. Okay, what's up, boss? What's your name? Okay, good to meet you, man. So uh, I'm here by myself, but I wanted to know: Does the whispering walls work? Absolutely. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. You don't have to explain it now. That's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm Dolo out here, but I tried the whispering walls, and they actually do work. You can hear what they're saying from the other corner, and if you're in like the center part of the hallway, you can hear it a little bit too if somebody's talking really loud. But I also um, asked a cool guy and his like uh, and his family, his wife and his daughter. They were doing it from across from each other, like diagonally, and it worked well for them as well too. So it's really cool to try out. Definitely experience. And oh my god, now they got shopping stores in here. I ain't gonna lie, New York is awesome. But okay, so where to, where to next? Let's see. All right, so we just finished up at the Grand Terminal Station, and I'm a little tired, so. I'm about to go to the hotel now and finally like officially check in and probably have me another drink, relax for a second, decompress, and then I'm about to go check out one of these lounge spots that I've um, been meaning to show you guys too. It's, that's pretty sick. So let's go get some food and some, some lounge food. back to the hotel um i was a little bit tired but i feel like i got a little bit of energy now um took a good shower today was a really productive day today felt fulfilling it felt adventurous uh it was exciting 
met a couple new people that were really uh, cool and into what I was trying to do. Um, so networking is always a plus. I'm not calling it a day yet. So what we're gonna do, cause I definitely, am, I'm starting to get hungry, but I'm still not. I'm more excited to do more content than I am to get hungry. Let's put it like that. So I wanna take you guys to this cool bookstore that I put on my list. The bookstore was set up in like 1917, if I'm not mistaken. And I won't describe everything to you. I'll let, you, like, I'll let your eyes see, um, see the way that they constructed it and you can um, you know, make up your own mind about how much you like it. But I wanna pick a book from out of there because I feel like, well, I know for a fact tomorrow, I'm gonna go and um, venture to a couple of parks and whatever book that I grab from this place, I want to uh, I want to take it with me to the park and, and read it tomorrow. And um, I don't know if I'll be drinking, but I'll probably get like a, a cup of coffee and really just sit back, uh, decompress, uh, take in the environment that I'm in. And like, I really wanna like be able to feel the vibe of New York City of, of just being somebody that lives here. So I think that's important to do when you go somewhere. Uh, you shouldn't feel like you just uh, all over the place and uh, I don't know, like that just ruins your energy when you're not organized and, uh, and calm. So tomorrow we're gonna do a little bit of calmness. There's a couple of things that I wanna show you guys. I'm not gonna spoil all of it, but definitely gonna hit some parts and definitely gonna pick a cool book out of this book store today. So I'll see you guys in a minute. like a 15 minute walk to get over here to the drama bookstore but we have finally arrived and i want to give you guys a good look inside so we can see what it's all about so come on let's do it when you go in i don't want to talk too loud because it's you know it's still a bookstore people are in here reading but when you come in just the way that they have it decorated and, um, and organized is really cool. Uh, I can't wait to see what kind of books that they have in store for me. And like I said, I want to find something that I can read at the park tomorrow, so hopefully it's something that's really good. Um, also, they have uh, merch. Check it out. Yeah, they have sweaters, bags. Um, I don't know about downstairs. I don't think we can go down there, but... Also, they actually have a cafe inside of here too. So you can actually get you like a nice setup of some coffee. Let's see, oh, I have the menu. Oh, hot chocolate, iced tea. Uh, quite a few options that you can choose from. But it's really cool. It's not that big. It's really small. It's quaint. But it's a dope spot. It's not overcrowded. So if it's somewhere that you like to be like to yourself and you know read and chill out and, and find your peace, then this is definitely a dope spot. I love it. What up, what up? All right, so yeah, so we just got that eat and we out here in Times Square right now. And just like me, the energy is lively all the time. We got a lot of people doing like uh, break dancing. We got um, live stage performances. And then just random people in like Iron Man suits and Spider-Man suits and walking around. So it's really, um, it's really animated out here right now. And it seems like every time I come out here, it's that same type of energy. Like nobody wants to go to sleep. Everybody's always outside. So when they say it's a city that never sleeps, I think that's a fact. So it's food everywhere, it's entertainment everywhere, there's huge screens everywhere, and it's just a, it's like a wonderland. But I ain't gonna lie, I love New York. New York's awesome. So, anyways, the restaurant that I just ate at, um, the Blue Fin, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. The food was cool. The service took forever. Um, I feel like it was a little unnecessary for like all the like the they were given so much of a, a description of all the food and I already knew like most of what was on the menu was self-explanatory so whatever but so finished up with that um, I don't know I, I might go and check out a lounge tonight but if I don't I'll probably check it out tomorrow because I'm a little I'm blasted but this is what it is man this is New York I'm about to show y'all some footage of outside
Alright. Still don't have the CD with it. I got um we're looking at Mario, we got Pikachu out here. And it's like, I don't know, the, the later it gets, it's like the more it picks up. It's not like people go home. People don't want to go home at all. People want to just stay out here in Times Square and soak up the city lights and get drunk and, and you know what I mean, and have a good time. Like, I, I guess that's what New York is all about. It's like, you bust your ass throughout the day and then at nighttime, like, you go and experience the, the nightlife. You go experience traffic. There's a lot of people out here that are chasing their dreams. There's a lot of people out here that are performing live music. They're doing um, art, choreography, performances. And like, contrary to popular belief, like you don't have shit to worry about out here either. Like you literally could just go out here and like it's so many people doing their own thing. Nobody's worried about what you got going on. Like you come out here, you be yourself and just stick to whatever it is that you want to do. And you can do it. And then whoever you want to be, you can be it. Like, Everywhere in New York is a stage, so like people don't have no problem just like out in the open performing for you. You know what I mean? Like so, like if you're a dreamer, if you wanna be somebody in life, if you wanna pursue your goals, like this is not a bad place to start.